Hello, welcome back. I am Dr. Dave, also known as the RV Dummy. Yes, I am. And I got another episode for you of Can I Afford This RV? This is the show where you write into me, give me your stats, tell me exactly what it is you want to buy, a little bit about your lifestyle if you can. And I want to know, I need to know how much money you have, um, how much money you're making, if you have any debt. I need to know all the little details, and the more you tell me, the better of, of, of a decision that I can make. And don't worry, I can keep your name totally, totally confidential if you like. This is the part of the show right now where I'm going to ask you if you see, if you know, if you like, if you like what you're seeing, please hit the little subscribe button and refer this to your friends. Like the show if you want to hit, click the little heart or the like button or whatever you want to do. Um, I appreciate all the feedback. I try to answer every question I can. And if you want to be on the show as far as like your information, just write into me. It's that simple. Um, I do have a waiting list kind of, but if you're it, depending on the interest of your situation, I could easily push you to the front if I think it's really something that my listeners or I should say viewers, viewers, we're viewing this, we're not listening, want to see. So thanks for everything, guys. I really appreciate this really, really strong community and all of the really, really great feedback you've, you've given me on my channel, the RV Dummy, and especially these, um, these the series of videos uh, that I'm doing called can I afford this RV? I think I'm helping a lot of people. So let's get right into it. I've got my notes here. Today, I'm talking to Thomas in Orlando. Thomas wants to buy a Jayco 26-foot Class C used RV for $39,995, close to $40,000. And by, by the way, the, um, the scope of this show is I'm not here to judge um, if you're getting a good deal, I don't know enough about the rig, so that's that's up to you to make sure you research and make sure you're getting a fair deal, the best deal you possibly can, and that you've checked it all out, and you, the rig you're going to be getting is exactly what you want. That's going to be up to you. Now, um, getting back to Thomas in Orlando, here's what he tells me. He's fed up with his corporate job and his stressful lifestyle, and he wants to quit everything and he and his wife just hit the road. Now, um, he didn't go into more detail than that, so I'm assuming by him saying that, I'm assuming what that means is he wants to be full-time RV. He wants to quit everything and hit the road. So here are his stats. 52 years old, married. Thomas has $242,000 saved in his retirement plan. Now remember, he's 52. But did I say 52? Yeah, 52 years old. So um, you can't even think about taking money out of a retirement plan before the age of 59 and a half or you get like hit with really hard with um, not only taxes, which you have to pay anyway, but penalties. So don't even consider taking money out of a retirement plan before 59 and a half, please. But he's given me that information. 242000 in retirement. He has $52,000 in uh post-tax, after-tax investments, regular investments, um, $80,000 equity in his home. That's good, good, good. No debt. That's fantastic. You know, I don't believe in debt. I believe in paying cash for everything. Thomas' income is $130,000 per year. Great income. But he said he will lose all of this when he quits his corporate job and goes on the road. He's going to lose his $130,000. But he stressed that he wants to start an internet business that he can pretty much run from anywhere while he's on the road, in his RV, wherever he is, camped in a campground or whatever. Maybe he, he's going to run an internet business and hopefully have an income that way. So he's asking me, what, what do I think? What can he do? Well, so here's what I'm going to say. $40,000, that's, that's not, a, not a ton of money to pay for a rig. And he's making a lot of money, but he's going to lose the money when he quits. He's got close to a quarter million dollars in retirement, which he can't touch right now or shouldn't, shouldn't touch right now. Um, $52,000, $80,000. If when he sells his home, he'll, he'll realize $80,000 there. So he has enough money to buy the rig for cash. Thomas, you've got that. But this, here's the thing that I'm worried about, though. When you lose your job 
You say you want to start an internet business. Well, I believe in being an entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur. Um, but, I, and I believe in taking some risk. Some risk is good, but, but just quitting everything and thinking that you're going to start an internet business and money's going to just start coming in is not quite that simple. So I'm going to recommend, Thomas, I like your plan. I like the fact that you want to get out of corporate America. I mean, I'll tell you a real quick story. I don't know if I've told this story on, on my channel before, but um, I, I'm Dr. Dave, so I'm a dentist. I'm actually a dentist by profession. Um, I've been a dentist for quite some time. However, however, back in 1993, I kind of had the same vision as Thomas. I... Did not I, I didn't want to practice dentist, dentistry for the rest of my life. I was only, I think, in my late 30s or something, or in my thir mid to late 30s back then. I just kind of felt that I needed to get out and do something different. But I didn't do everything at once. I didn't just sell my dental practice and hope for the best. I started another business at the same time I was running my dental practice. And then the business that I started turned out to be like a speaking and coaching uh, and consulting and... Um, business to help other dentists become more successful. So I what and and I was able to build this business over the years and sell my dental practice which I made some money on and I've been running this other dental consulting and coaching and speaking business. I'm a speaker, I get out and I travel all over North America and I speak to dental groups. Um and I've been helping a lot of dentists all over all over all over North America for for decades now. But it didn't happen overnight. Um I would have been afraid to just quit my dental practice and start something from scratch with no income. I kind of had them both going at the same time. So Thomas, I'm going to recommend, let's, let's put the brakes on this idea for maybe like a year. One year. One year out of your life. It's not good. You're still young. Um, I would start your internet business right away. Start whatever you have in mind. I'm not sure what that is. Start it going. And let's see how you can build it up and how you can generate income from that. And in one year from now, if your internet business is going well and you're generating income, then it's time to go ahead and quit your corporate job, buy that rig for cash, live a minimalistic way. In other words, you're going to be living living on the cheap, which is fine. I live on the cheap these days and I'm, I love it. It's, it's a great life and I don't have to have a million things, things in my life to be happy. My wife Yoko and I travel all over North America and, and the world on a shoestring budget. Um, right now we're living in Utah. We still have a house in Maryland, which we probably will be considering selling fairly soon at some point because we love moving around and we love the West. So Thomas, I, I totally, I mean, this really resonates with me. This is my passion and I totally understand what you want to do. But my advice to you would be press pause just for a year, get your business going, read up and, and immerse yourself in this new business, whatever it's going to be, start making some money from it, man, and let's see this thing happen. And one year from now, I want to see you driving around North America in your brand new Class C Jayco rig. Hope that helped you, Thomas. Hope that helped any of you that are watching that might have a similar situation. And again, remember, if you have any type of situation, um, I am not a financial planner. I'm an RV dummy and a doctor. But I know enough about personal finance. I've been doing personal finance myself for quite some, in my own life for quite some time. I have been, been very successful with it. I've figured out a lot of things, so I can help you. Although, just remember, this is not true financial or legal advice I'm giving. You're just watching a video, and Dr. Dave, the RV dummy, is helping you to the best of his ability. That's what I do. So, hope you enjoyed it. Um, remember, please subscribe, like, comment, have fun. I love you all. Till next time, I'm the RV dummy, Dr. Dave. See ya.